Hello, everybody. Uh, on my channel, somebody sent me a, a, a link to this right here. You know, it's uh, supposed to be an add-on to that Hoover, that Hooverman. But I decided to make one of these and, uh, you know, see if it helps out the, the uh, VHF on here. And we're going we're gonna to take it and we're going to try it because uh, I ain't sure that I'm falling for this. But All right, I got this on my big TV because I'm going to show you two or three things. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you what my problem is with these things. And look here. Believe it or not, I've studied on this right here. I've probably spent... Man, I imagine 30 or 40 hours studying this, you know, here and there. Because I may not, you know, I'll go with something hard. It don't matter what I do. But I want you to look right here. Here's my problem. Now, this man right here just got a straight, uh, he just got a straight piece. But now, how in the hell is this supposed to help? And it's not even connected. Now, that right there is, uh, it's not, it's connected with plastic or something. I'm, I'm going to show you another, another one that we're going to make. All right, look at this one right here, y'all. I'm like the man on dirty hair. I got to know. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, I reckon it was all right. I'm going to show you. Here, look at this man's pic. Look at this picture right here. You see how that top hat ain't connected? Now, that's what I'm going by, you know. Well, this ain't all, I mean, hell, man, I researched this right here to damn depth, you know, because I don't know if I believe it. And let me tell y'all now, there ain't no videos on this. This stuff I'm showing y'all is pictures. They ain't, there ain't no videos of this. But here's a, a man that's got this, like this, uh, you know, like one like sort of what we're going to do. Here's that hoofman that I made and showed y'all. And here's the pieces that I made to, to fit this thing. I'm gonna attach this right here, and we're gonna take it and try it, and I'm gonna, we're gonna try it with it on, and then I'm gonna pull it off. And uh, if this works out good, I'm gonna come back and show you how I made this right here, because it's a little trickier than it looks. It lo looks like it wouldn't be nothing to it, but it's a little bit tricky. I got this right here ready to try. It took me about 30 minutes to put them on, but I mean, I, I made them pieces and everything. But uh, I got my antenna on sound. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that it's supposed to do that uh, with your transformer hooked up. But uh, now I'm going to check this and this to make sure this ain't grounded this. And that's the part I don't understand. And be thinking about whether you think this thing's going to work or not, because I've been taking it out here and try it. And I've done tested the other end, so, and believe me, I ain't done all this for, for the hell of it. I got it set up out here. This is actually the next day. I had to, uh, it, I, it started raining yesterday. But, uh, you see, I got the antenna out here, and, and let me kind of give you the lowdown on what's happening now. V, the, the UHF channel was sort of low. You know, a lower signal than usual. So, I went and got the uh, ultimate antenna out here, and I hooked it up, to, and, and it was the same. It, the, the signal strength was the same. So, uh, that means there ain't nothing wrong with the, uh, the UHF on here. And, uh, and just by the way, uh, I did take these two pieces two while, while ago and, and put them together looking at the signal meter, and I mean the signal went to hell. <laughs> Hey, this thing right here might be all right because, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm just going to film this part. The measurements that I got off of this hat, they was millimeters, and I had to uh, break that down. And it took me a while. All right, here we are, y'all. See that channel 24 right there? I've got a, a UHF and a VHF side by side. I'm fit to show you, tell you everything. You see, we get a 25 on that, on that uh, channel right there. That's a, uh, that's a UHF channel. Now I'm gonna flip to that uh, VHF channel, and uh, we'll see. Now, now that's a 27 right there. Now that's that's full strength. 
Uh, it that that meter, I've never seen that meter go higher than that. This thing may be working. Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave the camera running. I'll put it in fast forward, but I'm fit to get up here and take these these hats off. You watch TV. That 13 went to hell whenever I took that off, didn't it? Damn. That's that UHF, you know, that thing was, I felt like that thing was working. Let's see what 24 doing. And this is UHF. Damn. I don't know, ain't that about the same as what it was? A car drove by right in front of my damn, right in front of my uh, antenna. I'm a, I'm flipping back to that that uh, VHF. Look at that, man! That, damn, hell, I got to show you how to do it now. All right, I figured out a, a simple way to do this. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all something. If that demonstration we just seen out there. If I hadn't have done that myself, I wouldn't have believed it. I don't I don't know how I don't know how that does that. And and I do know that uh I do know that the days of that are bad antenna day because because I had that ultimate antenna hooked up and I know what it I know what that ultimate antenna does. Okay, get your copper piece or uh you know, whatever you're going to use. Now, I, I ain't using copper because I don't want to waste a piece of copper just to show you this. But uh, this is 30 inches long. They're going to be some extra. You don't need 30 inches, but they're going to be some extra. All right. So, I got me a mark in the center of this. Like I say, this is the easy way. You know what your this measurement is you know if if you made my antenna you know half of this right here is seven inches so i'm gonna make a seven inch mark here i mean a three and a half i'm gonna make a three and a half mark here and do the same thing over here and uh you know I, well i reckon i'll try to mark it right i can't hardly see this i can't hardly see this all right, three and a half. Because I'm trying to do it in a hurry, y'all. You know what I mean? All right. Now, we take our center mark, and we're putting it like in the center of the antenna. Now, that ain't got to be perfect, but here's what, here's what you're going to do. You kind of, eyeballing this you know you uh you you looking at everything you know and you got this right here center and I'm gonna make two marks one right here and once you start marking you can't let the stuff be moving around with you then and uh now I got to be in both of these this way All right, you see what I'm talking about? You bend them, you bend it that way, and then you take this and you put a mark right here, and uh, mark this and, and you bend it back the other way. You know, bend it like flat. You know, just like the way to, just like the way it is. Okay, you got that, don't you? All right, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, you have to mess with it a minute. I had to... <coughs> the ones I made, I had to mess with a minute. Uh, but I doing mine in the measurements, but uh, I mean, that's aggravating, you know. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you have this part right here, a quarter of an inch away from one another. 
And, uh, you know, get it as good as you can. I mean, try, you know. Get it as good as you can. Okay? And you know these mystery pieces that everybody keeps asking me about that I always say the man give me? I don't know what they are, but I know he give me a truckload. Okay, so, all right, can you see? I went ahead and screwed that down. Can you see I got tape around this right here? And uh, I've got that matched up. And what I'm going to do is put a screw in the center of this. Now, put enough tape that you know that you're not grounding these two out because it it won't work. But uh, this is supposed to be a quarter of an inch right here, a quarter of an inch apart. And the screws that most of the time you see me using, they roofing screws and they got rubber on uh, one side of them. I went ahead and screwed that down and everything. I think I got too much tape right here because uh, my gap's too wide. But uh, it, I had to get Miss Murphy in here to help me. Uh, these pieces right here, this is right here is what I was using. And what that is is PVC pipe, and it had a, I drilled a hole through, the, through them. Then that little pack of nuts was, um, it wasn't even $2. But you see that right there is pretty good. And this right here, man, this thing right here, I mean, don't, man, don't doubt it a bit. This right here is good. I would, uh, it, you know, when you do this right here, I would glue this thing. I would, uh, I don't know why I brung a net, uh, cut two of these, but I would put a piece here too. You know what I mean? And uh, that's pretty much about everything. Uh, I want to tell you one more thing I, that, that everybody's having a problem with, and that's reflectors. And I found out how to make cheap reflectors, how to make them, you know, where you ain't got to buy a damn roll of wire. All right, everybody. Until next time, say la vie.